I have this life application study Bible and this is my first Bible that I bought myself for myself in back in 2014 when I came to Christ uh, I started believing around that time and um, so so the first thing I did was buy myself a Bible and I love this Bible because uh, it's a study Bible okay so beginning of every book there's a summary and there are like stats and you also have like what is the theme and what is the explanation and what is the importance of each book and then and then when you start reading the chapters you have like maps and each sentence like each verse is explained over here at the bottom like each line is explained so it is a study bible so for me it like helped me so much to understand like what this is and make these connections this is the book of numbers right so that there are key places in the book of numbers so there are maps here and then this is not even the best part i'll show you i'm a little bit nervous okay okay this is the best part this one so there's like a character sketch like every main character in the bible there are character sketches so like for example this is sarah so what about sarah is like what can we learn from her so what are her strengths and accomplishments what are her weaknesses and mistakes and then what are the lessons from her life that we can learn and then there are vital stats like where she from and dates and key verses that talk about sarah there's like dictionary there's a dictionary uh, where you look up key verses keywords and like if there are words that you don't know the meaning like what is it like what is messianic sounds like what so you go there and then the explanation is given <clears throat> like you can f look it up and then other than the verses there's another dictionary that uh, explains words words like what is single-mindedness or like what is skepticism or what is sincerity what do these what do these what is solitude what do these words mean uh, in the bible um, and there are verses and page numbers that you can go and read the stories related to those words so it makes more sense that way. It's like, for me, I, I have to have logic. I have to have reason. I, it has to make sense for me. So that's why I love, love this study Bible. Because other Bibles are just Bibles. I mean, it's just Bibles. It, it's just verses and, that you can read, but it kind of goes over your head. Uh, but if you really want to know what those verses mean, what what significance do those people have then you maybe you also want to get a study bible like me over here suddenly there are these summaries okay suddenly they come in like over here it says what jesus said about love and there are these pointers with where the verses are mentioned like i think this is so incredible so it like brings you back to whatever you studied and then it summarizes everything so cool. pharisees and seducees and then there, there are what are the positive like can there ever be positives for pharisees i didn't know that but yeah it's here there's positive characteristics and then there are negative characteristics right so it gives you it gives you a balanced balanced view of everything is what I feel like in the Bible about the stories and it's called the life application study Bible because um, it actually tells you how like a story from 2000 BC is still relevant today in this life like how how you can apply it in your life in this time like for example there's this story about Lot uh, Lot is Abraham's nephew okay so this is the time when uh, the city of Sodom was like <laughs> it, 
it was like burnt with fire and everything uh, but lot and his family was rescued uh, because abraham requested god to rescue him so god is like okay let's rescue him that's fine and but he, his only condition was that lot and his family you get out of that city and don't look back if you look back you turn to stone now what, how does so yeah and so lot's family has lot his wife and two daughters so four of them run away and as instructed they are not supposed to look back but the wife is like curious and she looks back to see like what's happening in the in the city that is being burned and she turns to stone yeah so now what is the what is the relevance of that story right now like we are living in the 21st century right so what is the relevance of that story right so what i learned from this bible is that um when you look back you do turn to stone cuz you're like looking at your past and you're like wallowing in it so it it kind of blurs your vision to look forward and god instructed these people to look forward and just go and move ahead and that's what we have to do i understand that we've all had our past we've all had our struggles but if we keep looking back at it we are not going to move forward you see so that's the life application of that story you see so like that there are like tons and tons and tons of stories in the bible which we think they're so biblical <laughs> but they do have relevance in the world that we live today so i just wanted to encourage you you know if you if you don't have a bible uh or if you have a like a regular bible <laughs> get a study bible it will it will like open your vision like it will it will like open your senses it will open your mind and give you more ideas um uh, about what these stories mean and how you can apply them in your normal life you see uh you see is the that's my <laughs> catch phrase for today so okay so uh those of you who have children uh This is a wonderful wonderful book. It's called the One Year uh Bible Story Book. So my mother-in-law gifted us this uh gifted this to us this Christmas. It's really awesome. So it's, it has like day by day, like one story a day and it goes in like chronological order. So each story is like it's written in a very uh, in a manner that it's understandable by toddlers <laughs> and preschoolers and the verses are mentioned so what i do is before i read the stories to them i go ahead and look up the verses here and study it what it means so that if they have questions i'm ready for on the armor of god we will be <laughs> you'll be strong and fearless NLT version that is the new living translation there are other versions there's ESV and then there's King James and there are so many others right so i like the NLT version because it's most simplest for me to get for me to understand okay. so this is my bible Mama. i hope you're encouraged today okay bye Mama. see you later now you can read the story yeah yeah let's read the story